Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to the China Repair Studio. So today I thought I would just do a continuation of our beautiful 18th century Chinese Femel Rose figure. But before I do, if you haven't subscribed before, please subscribe, please like and also please share. So in my last video, I did actually clean her up and we also applied just a little bit of some peroxide, cream peroxide, just to take out some of the staining. Now she hasn't been damaged completely, as in she's not in two parts and put back on again. She's actually just got radial cracks, which means she's been cracked, but she is still intact. Now looking at her, I do think that she's had some form of repair and I think someone's tried to put some ordinary super glue or glue into the crack because I can see one or two pieces there which is obviously too thick for it to penetrate in. So what I want to do today is I want to take off some of the residual glue which I think you can see here for instance just some there. I want to take off some of the residual glue and where it hasn't been glued I do have a glue from Araldite which will actually uh, it's a very thin glue and it actually is for porcelain so basically you apply the glue and it acts like, um, like with a capillary motion if you like as in it will actually work its way through the inside of the porcelain and lock it in place so then basically this lovely lady is stabilized so again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe please like and please share i will have um uh, i do have a udemy course which is in the description box below if you fancy that and i also have a website where i will put on hopefully i can get hold of some of the araldite in america as well as in england and i will put that on my website if i can so let's get going so here we have our lovely little lady here now what you're going to need is a sharp knife to take off the glue. Um, you do want to wear glasses when using something like this because this blade does actually come off and there'd be nothing worse than actually flicking into the eye or somewhere. So do wear glasses. Um, you also need a well ventilated room because we are going to be using some glue. And the glue I'm using is from Araldite and it's called 2020. And this is the glue I use for my porcelain. I'm also going to have need a small bottle top and a couple of pipettes and just and our good old cocktail stick to apply the glue with. So let's get going and let's take a look at her. Now I can see some pieces here. You can see where the glue, I think you can see that. It's just overspilled. You just want to chip away at that. She hasn't got too much glue on her, but she does have a little bit. You want to try not to touch any of her original as well. You don't want to scratch it too much, but we do need to take that glue off. I think it's just in some some places here. Now, as I said previously, my to get hold of this glue is quite tricky, and there are companies which do sell it, and there's certainly companies in England, but I will try to see if I can get hold of it um, in America and also other parts of the world, which will probably hopefully might be able to send. So I'll take a look as well. And I will put put it into uh, my onto my website. Now I can see some bits of glue here as well. So you can see it's all starting to sort of come off there. And we just want to carefully just take off any residual here. Now you want to be in quite a light room when you're doing this. You want to be able to see what you're doing. You don't want it to be too dark. So make sure that your light is very good. There's any on there. Again, I can see in the light where there's bits of glue, but I don't want to chip off any of the original. 
and then just quickly assess. Turn a bit there. Yeah. Right, I think that's maybe a tiny bit there. I think that's all the glue taken off now. So once we've taken the glue off, um, obviously I don't know if it's got any inside. I presume the glue that they've used is a very thick glue, so it wouldn't have penetrated into the piece of porcelain. So now we're going to take our araldite and first of all we're going to take our little top here and I'm just going to take some of the part, I think this is the part A, yes the part A, <laughs> give it a bit of a shake. And you want the ratios for this is three parts of this, one part of the part B. So part A, we need three. You can actually measure it out. I'm just doing it by eye. You don't need too much. Now this is very slow curing, this epoxy um, adhesive. So it, it will take time and will probably be sticky for a few days. So once you have done it, you want to sort of just leave it really, just to sort of set. And then again, a bit of a shake. You can see I could probably do with a new one here. And then we just need just a tiny amount. That's a third. That's it. And then always put the tops on straight away. Again, um, as soon as you've finished, always make sure to rinse out these. They're not they're not combined together, so they're not going to set, but you want to make sure everything's taken out with some soapy water ready for next usage. So now we've we just need to just combine these two now, just with the cocktail stick. And once you can see that they're nicely combined, we just want to take our piece and I want to look at her in the light and I can just see where she needs some of this. And you just want to work along. It doesn't matter if you have any residual on the outside to begin with we can we can take that off later as I say this is slow um, slow curing but you want to get plenty on the line to make sure that it actually seeps through the body of the material which is the porcelain in this case and so it actually gets into the the porcelain there I'm just going to work all the way along the line here this is such a useful glue and, and I've got to say though guys it's not cheap I think it's on top of my head I think for, for these two it was over 60 pounds um, in in English um, but it does last a long time uh, depending on how much work you do but it really does do the job if you've got very fine work and you want to stabilize your porcelain Right, so I'm going to start working up here now as well. Just up here where I can see. So you just want to keep going over. And even if you can just see a few little tiny cracks, just try to put that in because you don't want the crack going any further onto, you know, further into her or getting any larger. And okay, we just want to keep going over. As I say, she will take, I would live, give, give this literally a week to completely penetrate through and to dry. 
probably tomorrow when she's still a bit sticky I can wipe off the residual just with a damp cloth you don't want any fibres in the cloth so you want something which um, something like a muslin cloth would be good if you use something like tissue you may get fibres on so I would actually just use something like a muslin cloth just to gently wipe her over um, and that would just be da a damp cloth with warm water right I think we're almost there now and I think we're gonna have a cat coming up <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't re. I, I can't redo this twice. This is a one-off, so excuse my cat. Right there we go. So what I've done is I've now put the arrowdite all over her, and I'm going to leave her just to cure somewhere safe away from her animals and cats and dogs. And I will get back to her next week, and I will then fill her in with some milliput and the milliput I'm going to use we're going to use the turquoise colour for this I thought it would be quite fun to use a different colour and um, yeah and then we're next on to the next process I haven't also forgotten about the vases the English delftware I am working on those as well um, I do have a lot of projects on the go and I do like to keep it fresh so I will be sort of alternating between that as well so I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please like, please share, and I hopefully I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.